Good morning. I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at the Vinton Furnace State Experimental Forest and I'd like to introduce you to pignut hickory. Pignut hickory is a common hickory throughout much of Ohio. It can be found throughout the state and it can be found in much of the eastern United States. It's not common very far north of Ohio, but it is much more common as you go south of Ohio. So how do we identify pignut hickory? Pignut hickory, like all the other hickories, has compound alternate leaf arrangements. So leaves alternate sides of the twig, and these leaves are compound. Leaves are about eight to 12 inches in length, so they're a bit smaller on average than most of the other hickories. They usually have five leaflets, uh, very commonly five, occasionally sevens. There's another hickory, red hickory, that typically has sevens that we'll find a lot, and a lot of people lump those two into the same category and call them all pignut hickory, but true pignut hickories almost always have five leaflets. Like the other hickories, the terminal three leaflets are typically a little bit larger, and then the two ones on the side are quite a bit smaller. This rachis or stalk on the hickory leaf is smooth or glabrous. The scientific name of pignut hickory is caria glabra, which means smooth or hairless. The rachis or stalk on caria glabra is smooth. It has no hair, so that's a great way to remember the species by. Again, relatively small leaves, 8 to 12 inches in length, and almost always five leaflets. Twigs are also glabrous or hairless. They tend to be finer or thinner than the other hickory twigs, which makes sense if you think about it. Since the leaves are smaller, it's going to take a smaller twig to support that. Twigs are typically pretty dark in color, which is a good identifier. They look quite a bit different than most of the other hickory twigs. Again, very dark in color. Small terminal buds. The terminal buds are only about a quarter of an inch or so in length. The terminal buds also have deciduous outer scales. So the scales that cover these buds up early in the growing season are deciduous or fall off later in the growing season. And through the winter months, you will have this bud that does not have those outer scales. Looks a lot like a miniature mocker nut hickory bud. Twigs are glabrous, again, smooth, no hairs. Another great identifier, as with all the hickories, it has a nut that is very bony and hard in the middle with a husk on the outside. If you look at this, the keys actually say they're somewhat pear-shaped. I actually think they look like the profile of a pig. Got a nice long snout out here. The husk is very thin. The husk is only about an eighth of an inch or so in thickness and it does not split all the way to the base. It's a great identifier for it. The only other common hickory that has a thin husk is bitternut hickory. Bitternut hickory does not split all the way to the base as well, but bitternut hickory has these raised ridges right along those splits on the husk. So these do not have the raised ridges. If you look at them on the side, they look like a pear somewhat, or even like the profile of a pig. Inside you got this hard bony nut, and again a husk that's only about an eighth of an inch or so in thickness. So husk thickness is a great way to separate our hickory into the species groups. And if you look on the ground, even if it's a poor nut producing year, you're almost always going to find old husk on the ground, which can help you to identify pig nut hickory. Another great characteristic is the bark. It's a rough bark. It's an interlacing bark. When the tree is young, it's going to be somewhat smooth like the other hickories. But as it ages, it gets this interlacing pattern, really a rough bark. So unlike Shagbark hickory, which has large plates that come loose on both ends. It looks a little bit like a rocker. These are much smaller plates. They do get a little bit loose on the top and bottom, and that'll help separate it, say, from ash and other trees that have an interlacing bark. But it's a unique bark in itself. Pignut hickory is a beautiful tree, common throughout much of Ohio. We'll find it typically on a variety of sites, but it likes it a little bit on the drier side. It can become a fairly large tree. This one's pushing two feet in diameter, very tall, probably 80 to 90 feet in height. In the fall, the hickories are also beautiful. Most of them will turn a golden yellow color. So keep your eyes peeled for those bright golden yellow leaves out there in the fall. Chances are you're looking at a hickory. Thanks so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day 
to enjoy it in the woods.